What's up everybody? I'm Mr. Fan. Thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to give you my first impressions and some B-roll of the all new. It ain't even out yet. It'll be coming out late, late summer, early fall. But this is the Ultra 200 fabric on the Light AF Curve 46 liter full suspension. So yeah. Let's get on into it. First, I'll give y'all some B-roll to let you see every detail about this pack and the fabric close up. Then I'm going to tell you my thoughts on the pack so far. And I'm going to give you some info on what Ultra 200 actually is. So stick around and we'll get into it. enjoyed that b-roll I had a lot of fun making it that was filmed with my Sigma 30 handheld so I need to get me a handle for my cage whenever I do b-roll like that so I can make it just a little bit smoother but anyway that's enough about the camera y'all hear about the pack so first off I'll start out with what exactly is Ultra 200 it's basically woven Dyneema but it's woven 200D WHMWPE Ultra High Modular Weight That's what the face fabric is It's just It's woven Dyneema And the back is a 0.5 ounce Polyester film that gives it its waterproofness The thing about This pack Like all the waterproofing Is inside On the inside of it and that's what y'all seen whenever I showed the inside of the pack. And it's fully seam sealed. Now the cool thing about this Ultra 200 fabric, compared to DCH50, that's the DCF that like most companies use, like Superior Wilderness Designs, Z-Packs, et cetera, et cetera. Compared to that fabric, when, when you compare that DCF to this, this is two and a half times more tear resistant than normal the regular DCF three to four times more abrasion resistant and y'all all know that's the big issue I have with DCF packs is their abrasion resistance it's not like you rub it up against some rocks and stuff a couple times you're just going to start it's going to start peeling and then when you roll it and roll it down and roll it and roll it down it starts de laminating and falling apart really thinking this might possibly change my mind on the best fabric for uh, four packs. Y'all know I've been saying and saying and saying X-Pack is the best fabric because of its price, the weight, and its abrasion resistance. This, I think, might possibly have even X-Pack beat on all of the above, except for maybe the price. This pack right here, has it's a medium torso with a small hip belt. I have the ice axe loop, 
bottom pocket and one shoulder strap pocket. And this thing comes out to 28 ounces, which is pretty daggone awesome. It has uh, two aluminum stays on the inside. Y'all seen that in the B-roll, I think. But yeah, this thing is just an awesome, awesome, awesome pack. And it rolls down to about the same size as the 35 liter, which I was perfectly fine with the volume of the 35. But with me carrying like almost a little over five pounds of camera gear, it just makes more sense for me to care to use a frame pack but this you can see it'll roll roll down to right here without pushing on the stays or anything and that's about the same size as the 35 but you have all this and it is huge on the inside and this pack is all black but it's got these blue uh, snaps on there which is a really really awesome touch but yeah this pack I'm gonna be using it on my 500 mile hike on the Appalachian Trail and the Mountain to Sea Trail and this will also be coming with me on the hike after that as long as my prosthetics hold up I ain't announcing that hike until after I'm done with the other one but it's 522 miles <laughs> so my plan is to hike about a thousand miles this year so if you think about it last year I used a DCF pack the superior one of its designs long haul 40 I went 1067 miles I'm gonna be carrying this pack for the pretty much the exact same distance if not a little bit more so at the end of the year once I'm done with both my long hikes, I will, I'll give you my full in-depth review of this pack. And I'm going to do a co full-on comparison between DCF, X-Pack, and the Ultra 200. Knowing that, it should be a million times better for packs than DCF is. But only time will tell, and we're daggone sure we're going to test it out. So yeah, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It's just the first looks with some B-roll and some information about the fabric. But yeah, anyways, subscribe, like, all that stuff. If you enjoyed the video, it really helps the channel out. And yeah, I hope you all have a great day. Have an even better night. And I will talk to y'all on the next one.